right guys traveling blade here back again for another home vlog and today it is a big game it is chef united versus leeds united uh, leeds currently sit second in the table they've had a very good start to the season they played some very good football united after our 3-2 win um, at brentford the other night we are now sit I believe uh, fifth. today, yeah, I think it's going to be going to be a very tough game. Um, I've heard some <coughs> Leeds fans say that they, you know, they also think it's going to be tough. Apparently they've sort of fallen, you know, fallen out of form a little bit. Apparently not playing as well as they were at the start of the season. I think it was a couple of games ago they lost 4-1 to West Brom. So are Leeds fans saying they might have another West Brom result on their hands today. I don't think that'll happen personally. I think it'll be much closer. I think both teams will go for it. Uh, both playing attacking football. I'm just hoping that we don't leak too many goals because we have leaked quite a few. But no, it should be a great game. Um, Leeds will have sold theirs out. I think we've sold, um, we've almost sold Bramall Lane out as well. Should be a cracking atmosphere. Team news for United: we don't have any injuries of such. There will be, you know, a bit of contention over who starts, especially up front, because after on Tuesday's game against Brentford, we had all four strikers play, starting off with Washington and McGoldrick, and ended up with Sharp and Clark. Personally, I'd love to see Washington start today because he had a great game uh, on Tuesday. Didn't score, but came close and he was great on the ball and caused a lot of caused a lot of issues for Bedford's defence. So I'd like to see him play today. I'd also like to see Sharp play because he always seems to score against his past clubs um, and he scored twice against Leeds last season. So today. I imagine the back four will be the same. I'd say he'll go Fleck, Duffy, Norwood. I think he'll go for that. Uh, should be a good game. I'm it's, I think it, you know, I'm just hoping that if Leeds, because Leeds tend to, well, uh, have a high press, I'm hoping we don't get caught out with that because I can imagine if we do go one up, I'm just, I hope and pray that we don't sit back too much because I can only see us conceding what with them. Um, what would lead attacking, uh, high, you know, high pressure attacking style of play. If we stand off, we're gonna, we've had it, we've had it. But yeah, should be a packed out Bramall Lane, should be a cracking atmosphere. I hope for the game's good too. Sentinel back open again, after a few months off. All right, so the lineups are out. Um, he's gone with Sharp and McGoldrick up top. He's gone with the midfield of Fleck, Duffy and Nord, which I'm glad to see Duffy back in. Uh, probably rested him Tuesday for today. Uh, same back line as ever, but he's dropped three, well, Freeman's not even on the bench, um, Bollock's come in. So it's probably, it should be good. I'm, I'm interested to see how good Bollock's going to be. I'm hoping he has a really good game. Um, I'm glad to see our best midfield three. Um, hopefully Sharp bags another goal against Leeds, like he seems to always do. Uh, and I really want Bollock to score because he needs a goal, that lad. But uh, yeah, it's a good lineup. happy with that. I don't know why Freeman's not, not even on the bench, but should be good, should be good. It, it puts us in good stead to hopefully, hopefully win the game, but I'll take a draw. Henderson, we should be 1 0 down. Hey! 
Oh, whoa. what the hell? What is he doing? That's incredible by Egan, who just fucking swung him round and threw him over. We had a good spell of dominance early on, but the last 10 minutes we've stood off and let Leeds come into the game, and now they're on top. They should have scored, really. But we just, you know, we've let the game sort of, we've sort of lost our foothold in the game. Get up! It was a good delivery from, I think, McGoldrick, but the header from Sharp wasn't the best. Maybe should have gone with his feet, but should have been, that should have been, another, that should have been a goal for United. Ooh. All right, so half-time, nil-nil. A bit of a mixed half for United. First um, 20 minutes or so, I'd say we edged the game. We were more dominant, created the most chances. Um, I'm not sure quite what happened, but the following 10, 10 13 minutes after that, uh, we lost our foothold in the game um, and Leeds edged it on top. Should have scored, except apart from a great save by Dean Henderson. Should have been 1-0 to Leeds. Uh, but even after that, they, you know, they, were, they edged it and won top. But then, last 10 minutes or so of the half, United, we were back on top. Back on top. We've created some... Well, we have created some decent chances. Um, there are times when we get near the box and then we just seem to not know what to do, uh, run out of ideas, get a mental block in how to you know, find that last, that final ball to split Leeds defence. Um, you know, we'll end up passing it sideways and back a lot, but then the good balls we have created, we haven't finished. Uh, McGoldick should have scored, definitely, should be one all really. Um, he's flipping absolutely sliced that wide, uh, smashed that high and wide. Uh, Sharp probably should have scored as well. We have created some decent chances, but I don't think we've created enough. Um, especially considering when we do create a chance, we're not taking them, so we need to create a lot more if we want to score. But it's, it's a pretty, I don't know, just a, it's a pretty level. I'll say we're just edging it though. You fill up my What are we doing? Fuck me, United. Come on! Fuck oh. me. Here we go. Oh, come on! I'm convinced we're going to concede. United at the minute, we just seem to be uh, rushing passes that we don't need to be, and then we're just leading, you know, and then we're panicking and giving away possession to Leeds, and we, you know, we're just unnecessarily just rushing on the ball, and it's just, you know, giving Leeds the advantage in the game. Oh, we're all fucking hobbits! That's nice, that's nice! Once again, just like Rotherham, Endo's keeping us in this. We should have been, Leeds should have scored twice then. Should have scored then, I don't know who it was. Great run, just put our defence on its arse. Um, nice shot, but great save by Henderson. We're just useless and now we're hanging on by the skin of his teeth. That's great work by Washington, but McGold has got a score. Shite. Shite. This is so frustrating by United now. We're struggling to create chances and then when we get a fantastic one, we fucking waste it. Both, he could be like the guy behind me said, so he could be about fucking 3-2 this game. Oh my god! 
this is still nil nil is beyond any you know is beyond belief. Both teams are missing a lot of good chances here. I've got no words. It's been fucking coming. It's been fucking coming and we've fucked it up. What a sh... We have been... This is one of the worst games. I, I, I ain't got anything to say. Good save. Fucking kill me, man. King Sharp hits the crossbar, and ref's just giving shit decisions left, right, and centre. Fuck it, what an awful game. Right, full time, United nil, Leeds 1. What an awful game. What an awful game for United. Um, first things first, the cock up by Henderson. It's such a shame because aside from that, he had a fantastic game, pulled off some great saves, and was keeping us in it. Um, I'm not sure who it was, but it was a poor back pass. I'm not saying you know it wasn't Henderson's fault, but it wasn't entirely. His fault. It was put in an awkward situation. Did deal with it well, I know, but it was put in a poor situation and then giving Leeds an open net to win one nil. We did play poor, but I don't think we really deserved to lose. Not in the manner we did. Um, I think both both teams. Well, putting the mistake aside, before the cock up by Henderson, it could have been about two all. United missed some great chances. Uh, Leeds created some great chance where they should have, they could have should have scored. Started off at the start of the game, we were playing some great football. You're thinking, oh, you know, we're playing really well. Look nice and comfortable on the ball, composed. But yeah, again, when we get to the box, we sort of run out of ideas, struggling to find a final ball. And then when we did create the chances, we missed them. McGoldrick was poor. He missed two sitters basically. That he should have scored. Um, he need, I think he needs to be dropped next game for me. He can't score to save his life at the minute. There's a couple others where you're thinking, we you know, maybe we should have scored there. Uh, when Washington came on, it picked up a bit up front, but then by the end, towards the end of the game, just before we went 1-0 went down and after we went 1-0 down, trying to equalise some of our short passing and simple things, we were just cocking up. And it's just it's so frustrating to watch because we know we can play better than this, but we just seem to have lost our spark over the last couple of games. We struggle to create a lot of chances, and then the ones that we do create, we don't take. You know, today being a prime example of that, and Leeds got the, you know, we well, we gifted them the goal. But yeah, apart from that, Henderson had a good game, apart from flipping the massive mistake that he made. Um, I thought Bash was good, got man of the match, um, well, at least for us. But apart from that, it was awful from us. I think, you know, we definitely need at least one good striker, but I just can't see it, can't see it happening. The result aside, just the football that we played today was painful to watch at times yeah it was poor it was so frustrating but we go on anyway guys i've been the traveling blade and i'll see you for reading away